This week, Dude Perfect, a YouTube channel famous for making sports trickshot compilations, has made their ultimate trickshot, turning our flat earth into a globe. So as they go up in the rocket, the first thing to notice is that the horizon is flat and rises with the camera all the way up. If the horizon was actually the physical curvature of a globular Earth, as claimed by NASA, then the horizon would stay fixed where it was as the craft climbed, and you would have to tilt your head down further and further the higher you climbed to be able to even see the Earth out the window. But that is never the case. They go all the way up, supposedly to 200,000 feet, and the horizon is right outside the window, climbing with them the whole way up. You'll notice the horizon remains flat for most of the video as well, until he brings the camera close to the window, and it becomes obvious that this is, as usual, a fisheye lens camera, and not a normal lens. Fisheye lens cameras warp everything, convex, so as to appear globular. It's able to fit more into the image, but it produces an incorrect image, and it curves the horizon, and if you film the Earth, it makes the Earth look like a globe. So this is the main method used by NASA and other space organizations to trick people into thinking our flat Earth is a globe. The other method is straight-up CGI. They just use cartoons. If you investigate any globe image or video with a critical eye, you'll notice that every single one either uses a fisheye camera or is completely a CGI creation. So he brings the fisheye camera to the window, and you can see clearly that the curvature of the Earth changes drastically as he tilts the camera. That is, of course, because you are not looking at the curvature of the Earth, but rather the curvature of the lens, which, just like this, will always change drastically depending on how you tilt it. The same thing happened with the Red Bull dive. That one tilted so much that it went inverted at points, and the convex Earth became concave. And so that's just how fisheye lens cameras work. Then the next part of the trick shot is the zero-g effect, in which they unstrap their seat belts, and for a short period of time, they are free-floating within the aircraft, and to the average globe zombie, they think this is because they have reached a high enough altitude that they are beyond the reach of gravity, and gravity can't grab them anymore, and so they're in the floaty vacuum space, where they can just float, infinitely. And again, that's what your average globe defender believes. They think these people here, floating around for one or two minutes, remember this whole flight from takeoff to landing is only 12 minutes. So this little part here where they're floating around, people actually think that's because they're at the edge of space and there's not enough gravity to hold them to their seats right now. But meanwhile, people do understand there's such a thing as zero-g planes, right? Zero-g flights? What those are is planes that do parabolic maneuvers so that you are free-falling within the plane at the same speed that the plane is falling. In other words, they're just skydiving within a plane. This Blue Origin capsule does the same thing. So zero-g planes doing so-called zero-g maneuvers produce this weightless effect at any altitude by doing aerobatic maneuvers called parabolas. What they usually do is climb with a pitch angle of 45 degrees using engine thrust and elevator controls. Then at a maximum height, they point downward at high speed. The period of weightlessness begins while ascending, and lasts all the way up, and over the parabola, until reaching a downward pitch angle of 30 degrees, at which point the maneuver is repeated. So that's how they do it with zero-g planes, and that's how the people in this footage are achieving weightlessness. And it's no different with this Blue Origin craft. From a period before they reach their peak, through the peak, and on to the downturn, the period during that parabola is the zero-g period, where weightlessness is achieved. So that's what these Blue Origin fake space flights are doing. When they get to the desired altitude, they release their seatbelt, experience weightlessness for a couple minutes, take some video of the Earth with a fisheye lens camera, 
then strap back in and parachute back down to our level plain earth. And because of the popularity of the flat earth subject, when he lands down, of course someone has to ask him, so is the earth flat? And he says, no, it's round. Is the earth flat? Not flat, I can confirm it's round. Round like a coin or round like a ball? Both are round. For those of you not so gullible to fall for fisheye lens trickery and zero-g antics, there is abundant actual proof of the shape of the Earth beyond these fake trick shots. My book 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball has been translated into over 30 languages, has been made into a documentary, has been read and viewed by tens of millions of people, and is available for free. I invite you to watch this documentary or my recently updated Top 20 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Globe.